Hey everybody, Juan here. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be quite the emotional video because folks, this is officially the last video that I will have recorded right here in this apartment, in this home office studio gaming lounge area because my wife and I officially bought a brand new home and we're going to have our own dedicated gaming spaces. So I'm going to have my own recording studio. My wife is going to have her own uh, personal home office. So we thought what better way to conclude this chapter by working on a video where you get to see everything outside this rectangle of emotion. I am going to be showing our current setup before we put it all the way. Right after this video, it's all going to go away and I'm getting emotional just thinking about that. But then at the end, I'm actually going to show you a couple of pictures so you can see the evolution of this dedicated gaming studio or office space. So if you like this video and you like what I do, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit on that notification bell. Give me the thumbs up and let's talk about this space starting with my desk. I've had this desk for about a year to a year and a half, I want to say, and I loved it because it's uh, dark, it's uh, very uh, comforting, it's very spacious. My computer is just sitting directly below that, and that computer is approximately three years old. My goal is to be able to upgrade it next year because if I want to stream more recent games on my computer, it definitely does chug. But for things that I do, like recording uh, video game footage for which I use an Elgato HD60 Pro, that is a built-in capture card that allows me to record up until 1080p, 60 frames per second footage. I've had that for uh, about the same time, really, and it is really good. In that computer, I have a quad-core i7 uh, CPU with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have a GeForce GTX 1070 uh, graphics card, and then I have three different methods of storage. So I have a 500 gigabyte solid state drive, and that's what I use for uh, not just the operating system. I use that for Photoshop, Premiere Pro. So basically the main programs that I use for editing, that makes for a very fluid thing. I have a one terabyte hard drive, and that one I use specifically for programs that are not Premiere, a Photoshop. I also use that to install video games. So like all of my games on Steam, they do go there unless it's like one of those games that I go back to time and time again, and I want them to boot up a little bit faster. In that case, I do move that game over to my solid state drive and I have a three terabyte hard drive. And that one is where all of this gets stored. So like uh, data, uh, videos, videos from my, like my older channels and my days of working on short films, voiceover. So that one is dedicated to just that. Going back to my desk, I have a couple of things starting with my left. That is a tripod that I bought at BH uh, Photo Video in New York. I bought that tripod because sometimes I do travel. Going back to about a year and a half to two years ago, I've used that tripod for some other videos. And on top of it, the camera that you're looking at right now, that is a Lumix G85. That camera does 1080p at 60 frames per second, or a 4K at 30 frames per second. The reason that I got that camera is that I can actually hook it up to my computer via an Elgato cam link. What that does is that it converts the camera of your choosing, not all of them are compatible, but this one is, and it makes it like a USB camera. So instead of using a Logitech webcam, which I used the C920 for a very long time. Now, in front of me, I have two very, very old uh, LCD monitors. I think these are like 22 inch, give or take, I'm not exactly sure. And holding those together, I have a monitor mount, which uh, sits two different monitors. And what I love about this is that they are super flexible, so that way I can fully move the monitors like when I record like I'm doing right now I'll usually have to push the monitors back but I can also tilt them so that way you don't get to see them on screen because one of the monitors is right there right now you can actually see it in the edge it's going to bother you now but you see that little bur that little blur right there that's actually one of the monitors talking about my light sources that Home Depot uh, clamp light has been with me for man like five years. It's been with me pretty much as long as this apartment has been there. And then to my left, I have yet another Home Depot lamp. These are holding 40 uh, watt equivalent light bulbs. These are daylight bulbs. So they're not these uh, warm cream looking lights. These are just pure white and they're really good. So let me give you an example of just how this looks if I turn one of these off. 
So that's ha that happens if I turn one of them off. And then over there, I have two other light bulbs and they definitely uh, really help give a, a better uh, feel with the lighting. Now, not too many more special things here. I do have an Elgato Stream Deck. I've had that for about two years and it really helps because especially when you're streaming, or in my case, I'm also part of a podcast called A Cast of the Past where we have three people on screen but sometimes I switch to one or the other. With OBS, which is what I use to record these videos, I can set one of the number keys, like one is Juan, two is Ryan, three is Keith or something. Because you have these screens that you can change the pictures, you can actually write like, hey, that's my face. So if I hit my face, it changes to me. It really helps. I can mute microphones if I'm streaming. I'm not gonna really talk too much about my, my mouse and keyboard. My wife gifted these to me a couple of years ago. Personally, I'm not this person that obsesses over like having the latest tech when it comes to mouse and keyboards like does it feel comfortable if the answer is yes that's pretty much what i leave it up to and i almost began talking about the shelf without covering the most important thing in this entire place which is how you're actually hearing me right now which is this audio technica atr 2100 usb xlr microphone the reason it's called usb xlr is because as the name implies you can connect it via usb which check it out right there oh yeah gonna gonna give you the whole behind of the microphone you can actually connect the microphone directly to your computer you can also plug in uh, headphones, so that way you can monitor your actual audio and you can raise and lower the volume. And if you have an audio mixer, you can connect that directly to which I did do that in the past. Unfortunately, that audio mixer, that one stopped working, but because this is USB, I was just able to hook it up directly to the computer and I did not have a problem there. And the reason this microphone is so important to me is that I have a lot of background noise. Uh, we have a neighbor whose dog just sometimes decides to bark nonstop for hours on end sometimes. As I've been recording this video, somebody has been mowing the lawn, but you probably probably don't hear that. That's because I do put this through Audacity. I do a little bit of sound uh, sound reduction, but this is a completely directional mic. So this is me talking right here. But if you see me move audio, like look at the difference right there, right? So that gives you an idea of just how much sound it isolates. This is also really good if you have a mechanical keyboard and you're streaming, that way you don't get a lot of that sound. And the benefit is that if you have a, a camera like the one that I have, the Lumix, you can actually buy an XLR to auxiliary 3.5 uh, adapter and you can connect this directly to your camera, which means that if you're going out and about, if you're going to an event or something and you want to record something with excellent audio quality, you can do that and it does not require an external power source. And now let's get to talking about that thing right there, which is my video game collection. So as I show you some of the B-roll, gonna remove the microphone from this thing. Now I'm gonna show you something that I did not think I would ever showcase, but because what the hell? You see the video games looking all fancy? Check out the behind the scenes. This is how we were able to have two rows of video games per shelf because although I love these Ikea shelves, the problem is that they are super uh, deep, which meant that I would have to put games uh, you know, just right in front of each other and you wouldn't be able to see my entire video game collection. At the top, you see that is a shorter part which can never be seen on videos, but that's pretty much like not the recycling bin, but more so games that don't physically fit in our video game collection anymore. Right below that, you see my Wii and Wii U games as well as the Switch games. Then right below that, you see our PS4 collection. Right below that, you see our PlayStation 3 collection. So that's the collection that really got beefed up once my wife and I moved in together. So a lot of these games, like the Assassin's Creed games, uh, The Godfather, God of War, those were part of her collection. And then once we got together, uh, they became one. And then our PlayStation 2 collection is right after that. Some of these games I've had uh, since as far back as when I first got the PlayStation 2, uh, like that Final Fantasy XII Collector's Edition is my original copy from way back in the day. And then here is where you start to see a lot of games that are not physically viewable on video, like these uh, 360 games with Crackdown, Modern Warfare 2. And then these games you definitely have not been able to see, including 50 Cent, Blood in the Sand. I love that game. At the very bottom, that's like, that's the leftover pile. 
that is literally the part that's like, we don't know where to put these, so they go over there. So because this game shelf became too small, we decided to get this one, which this one is gonna be going over to my brand new studio, and that one is just as deep and as tall as this one, it's just about little less than a half the size. At the very top, we have a couple of PlayStation 3 wrestling games, uh, some Spider-Man Blu-ray movies, and, and a Men in Black, I don't, I don't know why. Right below that are the PS1 games with role-playing games like Legend of Legaya, Star Ocean, The Second Story. Right below that, you see my small collection of portable games, including games for the Game Boy Color, the Nintendo DS, the 3DS. Below that, you see Waluigi, oh, yeah. and behind him, you see demo discs for the PlayStation 1 and the PlayStation 2. I put those separately because it's hard to categorize them alphabetically because it's like its own thing, right? So that's why I gave them their very own space. Now here you get to see a couple of wrestling games from all consoles, like the PlayStation 2, the GameCube, the PS3. Personally, I love the GameCube games like Day of Reckoning, DOR2, WrestleMania 19. I can talk about those in the future, but because they didn't fit elsewhere, I put them right here. This is a little bit of everything, mostly uh, PC games. Like these are very big boxes from a website that used to do these uh, monthly subscription services. And I was able to get a lot of these for like a dollar to eight dollars, so not bad at all. And then right there at the bottom is uh, some of the camera equipment that we have, older cameras that we don't use. And right behind that is Nintendo Labo, which we will never use, so we should probably throw that away. So the good thing about the setup is that I have my camera at an angle. Right over there is the door that uh, is the entrance to this home space. And because you get to see the collection, that's really nice. One of the benefits is that my wife can go in and out of the room without you seeing her, which speaking of her, her desk is directly to the left of mine. But you know what? I'm actually going to break the rules a little bit because I've never really had my wife speak on the channel, but I've referenced her a lot. So I'm going to give her the floor right now. So Nicole, the floor is yours. Hey everybody, so hope you're doing well. And first of all, I want to say thanks for supporting Juan and his channel and his content. I really appreciate that. It's kind of weird doing this transition of moving to a new home because we've been sharing this space for five years and it's been interesting to see him record all kinds of videos and doing lame jokes and throwing stuff with his unboxings and sometimes he mentions that he hasn't played a specific game that I really love and I just look at him while he's recording like really it's going to be weird not having him uh, in the new home next to me in his computer editing or recording videos but I do think that we need our own space to do our content our work but we will have our family room, which will be the common room. And I am sure that we will spend um, a lot of time in there as well. So one thing that um, I really liked about our shared space that uh, it was that I had my desk next to him and it was nice. I had my own little corner, but I, I really liked my space. But sometimes he would record and I wouldn't be able to work or play games and stuff. But... I, I think I'm gonna miss it after a while. Thank you for supporting uh, his content. I really appreciate that because I, I've seen how much he has grown with the channel. And I see uh, you guys when he does his streams on YouTube. And I, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here with us. And we are back people. So between her desk and mine, we have uh, this uh, another piece of uh, Ikea furniture and there, we have the different controllers for our consoles, whether it be a GameCube controller, we have two of them. And at the bottom drawer, that's kind of the little bit of everything drawer where we have some USB controllers, HDMI cables, anything that's, that should be immediately accessible because for a video, for a stream, we're like, hey, uh, where is that? I know it's down there. It looks a little bit bulky, a little bit crazy, Fortunately, where we are going to be moving, we're going to have a lot more space. That way I can categorize things if it's something that I need for the computer, for a specific console, or anything like that. And before I talk about the television and video game setup, we got to talk about arguably the most important corner of this entire apartment. People, we live in Puerto Rico. And I don't know how, but for the first two years, we did not have an air conditioning unit here. We had a we had a, an in a wall one for our bedroom so that way we could not die. But here it was just one fan and sometimes because we'd have two, the, the two computers running, the television and the console, 
Sometimes the thermostat would do 105 degrees. When I would record videos, like you can look at my beginning videos, like I would have to pause, like do this like big swipe, like boom right there, just like a swipe, which I would have to edit off because I was sweating so hard. So the good thing is that we got an inverter unit, which is very cost effective, doesn't uh, leave a lot of noise. So that way we can comfortably record and we don't die. And below that people, if you have space in your home for this, forget about the stupid computers, the stupid video game collection. This is what you need in your life. So this is a giant bean bag, which we bought at Costco. It's not technically bean, like beans. It's like another material inside of it. We call it the poof. This is hypothetically where I lay to play video games, but this is what usually happens. It is the most comfortable thing you can ask for. And the reason we have one is that I suffer from a lot of back problems. Like uh, check out any stream that I've done. You'll see that I'm often just doing this moving a lot. And that's because my spine is pretty much fused together. So like I don't have a lot of flexibility. So like sitting for an extended period of time is very difficult. The good thing is that because I can just sort of lay there and move the television means that I don't have to tuck my neck down or anything like that. I'm just laying flat with my legs out there and it is a very comfortable experience, but so comfortable that I usually do fall asleep. Like uh, it's a miracle Nicole hasn't tweeted out pictures of me just falling asleep because seriously people, it happens a lot. This television is actually about two years old. This is a TCL 55 inch 4K television. It costs us around $450. And it's really good because it has built in YouTube. So that's where I check out most of the channels that I'm subscribed to right there on that television. Right below that, we have a soundbar. This is a Samsung soundbar. And I feel like we need to be sponsored by IKEA or something because, once again, another furniture piece from IKEA. We have this one. And I know for a fact, if you're subscribed to even two YouTube channels, the chances of both of those YouTube channels, which I hope that this is one of them, has one of those is astronomical. We got this one because I wanted to make sure we had something where we could display most of our video game consoles. Like here, you don't see the PlayStation Classic, the Super Nintendo Classic. From left to right, you see our Nintendo Switch with the uh, LED light up thing, which has a Super Mario theme, Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. In the middle, we do have a PlayStation 4 Pro. And then to the right of that, we have our Xbox One X console, which I love. When we get to the bottom shelf starting at the left i just moved my wii u with there recently the the gamepad at least because it was right to the right of the switch and i was an idiot and i tipped it over with the television and it fell to the floor and i almost died people seriously but fortunately it's still working to the right of that we have the wii which really hasn't seen much use in the past couple of months to the point that I'm contemplating getting rid of it there. I do have some GameCube games, which with the Wii U, there are ways of making that happen. So yeah, the, the Wii's probably gonna go away. And then to the right of that, we have our PlayStation 2, and this one is connected via an HDMI converter, which can upscale to 720p, and I can record 60 frames per second footage on my computer. And then to the right of that, we have a slim PlayStation 3, this is the first iteration of that. And then to the right of that, we have our Xbox 360, which has admittedly not been turned on in months, but I do have a lot of games that I'm like, oh, one day, one day I'm gonna plug you in, bad boy, and I'm gonna check you out, but I haven't, so I don't know. When we get to the bottom area to the left, we just have a power strip, and that one is used to power up a couple of things, like the RK1, which is not there right now, Originally, it was to the left of this furniture piece, but because we are moving to the brand new home, that one is already there. To the right of that, we have a surge protector. That one is battery powered, so that way, if the lights do go out, it stays on for about an hour, just giving us ample time to disconnect everything. That is a massive cluster, you know what, of cables. So all of this is connected, first of all, to an HDMI switch, so that way I can just immediately, at the touch of a button, swap between any of these consoles. That HDMI switch is then connected to an HDMI splitter. What that does is it outputs one signal to four devices at the same time. So one of those outputs goes directly to my television. Another output, I lay down a 15 foot slim HDMI cable over to my computer. What that means is that while I'm looking at this monitor to play games and record footage, over there, you still get to see that game, which means that my wife, friends, or anything like that, 
they can check out the gameplay and that's the audio that I use while I stream here, which means that I don't need to put on uh, headphones or anything like that, which I don't like to put on when I stream, but that really helps. Another thing that's really good about that is that if I connect the PlayStation 3 via HDMI directly to the HDMI splitter, I know it's a lot of things there, but if I plug it in directly, it overrides some of the copy protection that the PS3 HDMI output has, which means that I don't need to put a component cable, which works, but it, it is not nearly the same quality. And so that's the way that this office was up until December 2019. Now, uh, that was not the case when we first moved in. When we first moved in, where you see the poof, that's where my desk originally was. I had a large L-shaped uh, desk. Right on top of that, I put a 32-inch Sony Bravia 720p television. And there, I did a lot of videos, not in the traditional video game sense. I was part of a wrestling channel called the Bite That Wrestling Channel. Eventually, we moved that same desk to where this one is located right now, but I would technically be facing that way. The, the main part of the L was here, and then the secondary part was here, and then there I will place a couple of my wrestling games. It was like better, but it definitely didn't feel great because those desks were far too large and I realized that I really wasn't using a large part of that desk, which is when we eventually switched over to these. These cost like a hundred and something, I forgot the actual cost. We were able to put them up against the wall and this very desk is going to be going over to the new apartment it's going to be placed inside the closet kind of the way this is right now it's going to be going inside that closet with the idea that the entire rest of that home space is going to be empty and that way i can decorate it to my heart's content if i want to, if i want to record a standing video or anything else that's going to be a viable option but that's it people this is officially the last video that I will have recorded in this apartment. And I'm now kind of stalling because it's like the moment that I hit that stop recording button, that's it people. So if there are any questions that you have about this apartment, this this phase of my life, you know, now it's going to be a 30 year experience because we got to pay a house for 30 years. But we are so excited, as Nicole mentioned, I think that any couple, any healthy relationship, yeah, it's fun to spend time together, but it's also necessary to have that space. So it's not Juan and Nicole, it's Juan, Nicole, and those two people together are also part of a healthy relationship. We've known each other for 10 years and we're both gamers, streamers, we love to do all of this, but it's nice to have our own space where I can yell, I can throw boxes, and she doesn't have to look at me all weird. So if you enjoyed this video, please support the channel by hitting that subscribe button, hit on that notifications bell, that thumbs up, go to the comments section and let me know what are some of the videos that you would want me to work on this year in 2020, which is weird to say because I'm recording this in 2019 in this house, but I'm already in the other one. I got a headache, so I'm gonna get on out of here and officially begin to put these games away. So up until next time, thank you for watching and supporting and take care, everybody. Let's do this thing. Ready to go. Record my first video. What do people want me to play? Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here. Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here. Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here. With a very, very unique unboxing video. Happy holidays everybody and welcome to yet another unboxing video. Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here. Welcome back to the channel. And if this is the first video you're watching right here at Epic JC, welcome. I want to talk about something that I keep putting off and it's got to stop. I want to talk about five of my favorite video game themed channels right here on YouTube. I want to talk about something that I love doing in addition to the things that I do right here on YouTube. I'm going to be talking about some of the recent movie and TV show pickups that I got during my last visit to Best Buy. I'm here to talk about the fact that Toys R Us is closing down. It's the end of an era. I'm going to be talking about a subscription service, a video game subscription service. I want to help you out because I want to talk about something that encapsulates all of the video games that we play. The PS1 is one of my favorite consoles of all time. Think about how awesome it was to visit a rental place, right? But that seems like an ancient thing that many people only know about that in the form of Redbox. You know what they have on that Game Pass? They have that Gears 5 Halo. It's like, really? Come on, Juan, out of, out of all the games, when I popped in that game on the PS1 or inserted the cartridge on an N64, the problems just melted away. Thank you for watching and the journey definitely continues. My journey with Bad Boys Miami Takedown has concluded, but the epic journey definitely continues. So thank you for watching, gang. 
Take care. Thank you so much. Get ready for the journey because it's going to be a good one. There's going to be some good games. There's going to be some bad games. But all in all, it's going to be one hell of a good time. Ha, 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 ha.